Yeah. Yeah. Well, in case you don't know who I am, or you've had your head up your ass for the past 20 years, I'm Chucky. I used to be a master criminal, but then I got shot, and before I died, I inhabited this doll. And now I'm looking for a new body. Got any takers? Oh, you right there. Yeah, I see you, Raven. What's your name? Yeah, you. You raised your hand up and you had fur in your armpits. You. Yeah, what's your name? Rudy. Nice. And what do you do for a living, Rudy? You're, oh, you're a designer. <laughs> well, how special for you. And what things do you design? You, oh, so you do office buildings. Well, that's an architect, dickwad. <laughs> Learn what you do for a living. So you design buildings. Nice. So you must, you must have some money then. Nice, and you're spending it here. Wow. So you got a lady? Where is she? Wait, wait. No, I said a lady. I don't know what the hell that is. You need to shave it. I don't know what that is. Good Lord. I'm just kidding. What's your name, baby doll? Come on, Rudy's lady. What's your name? What is it, baby? Daisy? Your name is Daisy. Let me tell you, Daisy, you're not as fresh as a Daisy, all right? I can smell the cheese up here. You got some cheese on your taco, baby. Good Lord. Summer's Eve, it's in aisle nine. You need to be using it all of the time. No, I guess, I guess you all are a perfect couple there. Nice, that is wonderful. And what do you do for a living, Daisy? You do what? Take the dick out of your mouth, I can't hear you. No, Rudy's having a good time, but I'm trying to have a conversation. So what do you do, Daisy? You do nothing. You just sit on your ass at home all day. Wow, well congratulations. You guys are a lot of fun. Who else we got around here? Oh, I see you waving. What's your name? Yeah, yes, you did what? What's your name? Your name is Tony Quigley. What kind of a hell name is Tony Quigley? Is it like squiggly? Like, is that what you mean? Is it like so small you got two belly buttons? It should be Tony No Dickley. That's what it should be. Don't worry, buddy. You're young. It'll grow out. <laughs> Before you know it, you won't be pissing on your balls no more. <laughs> Poor Tony, he can't even break a Cheerio. <laughs> oh, it's it doesn't matter. When you go home, you'll still be poor. You are so poor, you used to afford to eat your cereal to save milk. <laughs> that for you? Wait a second, how old are you? Thirteen, what the hell? I can't be talking to no MySpace, Dateline, NBC, Predator. Get me out of here. <laughs> I learned my lesson last week. I had some 15-year-old go complain. I'm not talking to no children no more. Learn my lesson. Who else we got in the crowd here? Oh, wait a second. I, r right here. Right here next to, next to No Dickley over here. You got like those little red things on your head. They're flashing. But, oh, I see. Horny, electronic. You're a dildo. Oh! Nice! That's wonderful. Of course, the bitch is so stupid the first time she used one, she chipped her teeth. <laughs> Not bright. <laughs> nice. Who else we got in the crowd here? <laughs> what, is that a name? <laughs> I need your name. <laughs> Karina! I heard Karina. Where's Karina? Wave your hand, Karina, so everybody can see what a bitch looks like. Good Lord, you are fat, Karina. I bet after sex you smoke a turkey. Holy hell. She's got to use a satellite dish for a diaphragm. Good Lord. If you fell out of a tree, you'd go straight to hell. You 
a large. No, I like, I'm not saying she's a bad thing. I like the large girls. Because when you crawl up on top, your ears pop. Yeah. If you're doing them doggy style, it's piggyback. I like the large girls. I like them when they got the round ass. At a party, you can sit your drink right on it. And a clock radio. Nice. Who, who we got anybody that actually works at this dump? Nobody. Yeah. Oh, I see your point. Yeah, you calling your friend out in the middle of the crowd. What's, what's the name of the person you're pointing at? Andrew. Nice. And what do you do here, Andrew? You don't work? Well, who are you pointing at? Pay attention to the rules. This is not hard. So, Andrew, what do you do? You go to school. What do you study? R what is it? Racial science? <laughs> racial science. Nice. I have no idea what the hell that is. Racial science. So you study like Latinos and, and the Africans and the uh, Irishmen. That's what you do? No, you don't do that. Yeah, you probably sit on your thumb up your ass all day. That's what you do. Nice. Andrew. Well, that was a waste of 15 seconds that these people can't get back. <laughs> Has anybody gone and seen some of the mazes? Have you gone and seen the Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Have y'all seen, oh my god! I think Andrew's mom was the one sitting, drinking tea, watching television. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The rest of you go see the maze and you'll understand. I think she got baptized at SeaWorld, the bitch is so fat. Good lord. Well, you guys are probably wondering, what can Chucky say? Well, there are rules. I can't say certain words, but you can. So I'll say the beginning of a word I can't say, and you say the other half of the word I can't say, all right? All right, here we go. Uh, shit. What? What the hell did you just say? Ball balls. Is that a common swear? Shit balls? Shit balls, shit balls. scooby doo 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 shit balls, shit balls. Are you talking about she balls? I don't care what you got in your pants. Good lord, girl, that is nasty. I bet she doesn't even shave either. If I went to pleasure her, I'd find Chewbacca down there. <laughs> that is nasty, girl. You got to shave that. Let me, um, let me ask you straight up. I don't know, maybe she is. If I were to land my plane, would it be a smooth landing, or am I going to be hitting trees like a friggin' Brazilian rainforest? <laughs> Come on, you got... Every guy likes it smooth, am I right? You know what I'm talking about. I can't say the word, but you can. Puss? Yeah, you can say it, but you still ain't getting any. Uh-uh. Say hello to Rosie and your five fingers. That's what you're going home with. Yeah, who else we got in the crowd here wants to talk to Chucky? Oh, well, back here, I heard a name. What's your name? You don't know your name. Look in your underwear, what's it say? <laughs> Marlene. That's a fat girl name. Marlene. The name has stretch marks. Oh, I'm not even going to try to get on your girl. good side, girl. That would take two trains on a bus. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I'd probably have to roll you in flour just to find the wet spot. But when I did, all I'd have to do is slap the thigh and ride the wave in. <laughs> nice. Who else we got around here? Ta what is it? Tatiana? Adriana? Gladiana. Oh, Gladiana. It's so Latino. Like half the people that work at this dump. <laughs> Gladiana, what do you do for a living, baby? Where'd she go? Did she go down on somebody already? <laughs> Good lord, girl! Just because you go down on somebody in a phone booth, it don't make you a call girl. Good lord, go ahead, let her finish. She's obviously having a good time. Man, can you do, do me a favor though, Gladiana? Can you pick one shade of lipstick? My dick looks like a damn rainbow. Good lord. Who else we got in the crowd here? Hugo? Sam? Liz! Liz? Liz? Where's Liz? Liz? 
Where is she? Good lord, you're skinny! Do your nipples touch? <laughs> Holy hell! I could blindfold you with dental floss! I bet you could use chapstick for a deodorant, you are skinny! You don't even have an ass, your back just ends! Holy lord! Nice! So who else we got around here? So I want, wait, I want to get somebody way in the back that doesn't have a watch and know when the show starts. Rebecca! Rebecca! You have got the manliest voice I've ever heard, Rebecca. <laughs> Good lord, lay off the steroids. Rebecca's having a case of ro or roid rage back there. So what do you do, Rebecca? Come on, sound off. You obviously got a pair on you. <laughs> what do you do, Rebecca? Green biology. Marine biologists. Good lord, Rebecca. I bet you could hump a whale. Marine biologists. And what exactly do you do? You go out and study plankton? You study sperm whales? Is that what you like? You ever been to Hawaii? Would you like me to draw the islands on your chest? <laughs> yeah. You like that down there, Rudy? He's like, yes, I might have some more. Mm. <laughs> That's disgusting, Rudy. You're gross. <laughs> you got a lady right there. Now, who else we got around here? Howie! Oh, what, what was the name right here? Howie. Paul! How old are you, Paul? <laughs> Yo, I ain't got to no preteen. Well, actually, you are preteen. Well, well I, I'll go ahead. I'll talk nice, though. I don't want you to get all upset. What do you do, Paul? I mean, you go to school, but, like, what do you do for fun? You play your guitar, so you do a lot of fingering. <laughs> nice, I bet you're very popular with the ladies. You got a girlfriend? Oh, Paul, let me school you on something. It's the rule of the jungle. Either you have a bitch, or you are a bitch. <laughs> That's one to grow on right there. <laughs> Paul, it's all right, buddy. You'll find somebody. Yeah, but save your breath. You'll need it to blow up your date tonight. <laughs> it's all right. And you got to clean those things. You just can't hear you use them. That's gross. How about somebody over here? I said somebody over here. Tim? Ken? It doesn't matter. You're still gay. Ken. That is like one of the gayest names in the world. Do you get out of West Hollywood often? Oh, wow, but y'all are sensitive about West Hollywood. I'll stay away from that subject. Don't talk about geography, it scares us. We don't want to get the Hawaiian Islands on us. So what do you do, Ken? Paramedic! Paramedic. Because you don't got a pair of nothing down there. Smooth like a Ken doll, aren't you? Yeah. So you're a paramedic. So people are dying right now while you're talking to a $29 puppy. <laughs> I feel so much better. How long have you been a paramedic? Seven years. Seven years! And do you have a lady? You do? Is she here tonight? With... Oh, this? Oh, free Willy! Holy cow! Did she get her dresses made at the tent and awning company? Good lord. I bet that bitch has to take off her pants just to get in her pockets. Man, I bet you went to the Freddy Krueger base and came out with an application. Good lord, lady. So has anybody gone down and seen Jurassic Park in the dark? What? You, what what'd you say? It's just boring. And they, what the hell is that? It's the same damn ride they have every day of the week. They just turn the lights off. <laughs> what the hell? You can do that any day. Just do this. Oh. <laughs> uh, wasn't my idea. If it was up to me, every guy when they walked in would get their own go-go dancer. <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, speaking of which, have y'all seen the magic show? Oh, they got some dancers in... Oh, just give me a minute. Oh! Well, listen, I gotta go back and give me some water, but listen, if anybody was offended by anything that I said, you can go up to customer service and complain, but you gotta give them the venue number. Let me get it for you. It's right. Here you go, you 